This is a WRTL Vectra. They come in three sizes, this being the smallest. 50 watt and 70 watt sun can be used in this one. I've always thought that elliptical sun lamps look better, so I use one of these, made by Crompton Lamps, for the warm-up. I love the simple way this lantern opens. No tools required. This sturdy clip can be pulled to open the lamp compartment, and the back cover of the lantern can be pulled and lifted to remove. Although on the larger version of the lantern, I believe this is a hinge and clip mechanism. I'm not 100%, uh, the hinge and clip could also be a later design, meaning any newer small Vectras would also have that, but I'm pretty sure it's just the larger versions. I'm also going to mention that there's a version of the small Vectra labelled the Vectra X. It is designed for use on pedestrian crossings, having a specialised reflector that basically directs the light specifically onto the crossing. Two of these Vectra Xs can be seen near me, on Fontenay Road, just adjacent to Roman Way. Back to the Vectra in question now to take a look at the gear compartment. Date codes around the lantern suggest a manufacture date of August 1996. The gear is all located on this large piece of metalwork, which can, again, be removed with no tools, just a clip. A Magnatec N70-50 24.2-34 ballast occupies the tray, and a Palmar PXE 070255 igniter. This lantern hasn't had any modifications made to it while it's been in the collection. Of course I did clean all that lichen off the canopy. One last thing to note as the Vectra finishes its warm up, the Vectra can be used on both post top and side entry applications. And while I don't know where this one came from, it was certainly side entry due to the direction of the grub screws. Overall, a very sturdy and durable lantern. Probably even more so than the WRTL 2600. I have another video coming soon on a very interesting 2600 I recently received, so stay tuned.